Hey everybody, Dorian here, and welcome to another Captain's Vlog. Uh, another week has passed, hope you guys all had a good one. So this week for me has been a little, a little hectic uh, with work and a little bit of a pain in my ass. We had this like sales boot camp thing where you basically take two days and you sit in the classroom again, um, and they basically teach you how to sell stuff. It's a class I found kind of redundant. And I feel like it should be optional. It should be an optional class. If you feel like you need extra help, then you can go in there. I didn't really feel like I needed extra help. And by the end of it, still didn't really feel like I got any extra help. So my manager messaged me while I was in this class and she's like, hey, we're having a, a meeting on, on Friday. Do you want to come in? At 7.30 to 8.30, we'll pay you the extra hour that you're not supposed to be here. I was like, sure. Yeah, you know what, like, I work weekends, so I never see anybody. Um, you all have had a few meetings, and I've been not there because I don't work on weekdays, and I feel like it's going to be an issue if I don't really show up every once in a while. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you know what, put me on the schedule, whatever. I already had a week where I, I've been working extra, so you know what, just fucking throw it in there. It, it'll help me get up early on Friday, so at least, you know, I'll be up earlier. And I, and I get up. At like 6.30, 6.45, I drive through traffic, which I hate traffic, especially in Arizona. Um, it takes me 45 minutes to get to work. It usually only takes me half an hour, um, but it's still a pain in the ass. And I get there, and I walk in, and and from Brian, he's like, there, uh, there, there isn't a meeting today. That's, that's next week. Fuck me, dude. Like, seriously, I just drove all this way i got up early i went to bed early and the meeting isn't even this weekend and i didn't read the date on the fucking for some reason i keep thinking it's the 28th when it's the what 21st and 420 was just yesterday and people wouldn't shut up about it and i still didn't realize today was the 21st it fucking sucks you know i went and i and i i left and i sat down at a coffee rush for a little while outside drinking some tea flipping through twitter um, that's actually where I got this idea right here. Um, we're going to test it out in this video and we're going to test it out in a couple of videos sporadically and see if we can transition these captain vlogs into something a little more tangible with a little bit more oomph to it. So I'm going to be talking about some things on the vlogs aside from myself and what I did this week. So today I saw this article and I just have to go over it with you guys. Um, cause this man in on ebay this man on ebay paid fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars um for some of that mulan szechuan sauce from fucking rick and morty and it is wild dude it's so wild my glasses went on sideways okay it looks over here that um the seller so seller says uh, I just bought a really old car. While cleaning it, I found a packet of this sauce. After watching the recent episode of Rick and Morty, I went online to see if it was worth anything. Turns out it was. I hope somebody who wants to eat some 20-year-old gnarly sauce gets this. I would prefer not to sell it to a collector. Uh, sadly for the seller, the given price, uh, it probably is a collector. It's what the article says. Um, but $15,000, just shy of $15,000 is what this motherfucker paid for some of that. For, the, for some of that Mulan Cheswan sauce. And it is blowing my mind, man. It's blowing my mind that you could buy a 20 year old little little pack of Cheswan sauce, which I get because me personally, I wouldn't spend $15,000 on it. Um, but even if they bring it back, having that original Cheswan sauce would be fucking great. And now I wish I had some of that, but obviously, like, I wasn't, you know, driving in 1997 or 1998 or whenever that came out but i don't know i just thought that was why i had to share that with you guys because it's fucking crazy it's fucking crazy that he he would have sold or he would have bought it that somebody could even sell it for that like it's fucking wild and yeah so that's that's about the vlog for today um thank you all for watching it sticking with me talking about bitching about having to work extra shifts at my job i'm really really trying to find other stuff to talk about during during these these vlogs throughout my day but here's the thing at this moment in time where i'm at right now uh i have two routes i could do on these vlogs and i need you guys to give me your opinion on which one you would prefer i could continue doing it the way i'm doing where i just talk about my day every once in a while there's an actual like big thing that happened and I'll go deep into detail about that. Otherwise, I'm just rambling off what's in my head. The other option is that I spend the week researching things and finding things to talk about and finding like one, one thing that happened 
to talk about him basically just talk about it kind of like philip defranco i guess even though i don't really watch him that much i watched one video of his yes so i don't know exactly where you guys are at with the vlogs i know where i'm at with the vlogs and like i enjoy them um i know you some of you guys enjoy them um well let me know which route you want to go on that because i feel bad because i feel like they don't have a lot of material for you guys and and where i am in my life right now of uh, i work and i do youtube I don't really have a lot of things that I do to talk about in these vlogs, except I do and I forget about them. I just went out to a birthday party the other day. Uh, I haven't been belligerently drunk in a long time and I didn't get quite belligerently drunk this time, but I got drunk enough that it was exciting. We went to Dos Gringos um, and they had a giant Jenga and that was wild. And it's, honestly, for those of you guys who are, have a Dos Gringos nearby, I don't know if they're national or if they're just in Arizona, but get their nachos because their nachos are so fucking good so fucking good like some of the best nachos i ever had they were carne asado nachos and oh my god they were good and not just because i was drinking they were just good they were just good nachos oh i want those nachos now fuck okay anyways thank you guys all for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to like share and subscribe other than that i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll catch you all in my next video Later.